with me. This one is a Rotelli, but you can get elbow. Um, elbow will work as well. But this I like because it holds up to all the cheese and stuff. And the ridges, it get you know, it clings on. Mm -hmm. So I like this, but you can use elbow as well. You don't want to use something thin because it has to be strong enough to hold up on the on the cheese sauce. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so I'm prepping everything first. Mm. And what I did was I melted a little bit of butter. And um, then I just stuck the breadcrumbs in here, mixed it up so they're all coated in butter. And then you just let it sit. And you can use either regular breadcrumbs, and you both can get these at any grocery store. Regular breadcrumbs or panko, which is Japanese breadcrumbs. Why do you use the panko ones? It's, um, I like it because it's like crunchy and light mm. and thicker. But what we're going to do, is we're going to make a bechamel sauce first. Okay. And you add the cheese in it. And all that is is butter, milk, and flour. Okay. It's really easy. It sounds not easy, but it is. So, let's see where is it at. Here it is. How many sticks? This is um, six teaspoons. Okay. It's, when, when you have a, um, a stick of butter, it's already measured for you. You see, you just cut it at this the six. This is six teaspoons? Mm -hmm. Put in a half a cup of flour, then you start mixing it. Incorporate it, and then you're going to do this for about two minutes. Okay. So now I'm going to add all the cheese. Swiss cheese and sharp cheddar. How much of each? Uh, I believe it was... You normally do four cups of Swiss? Four cups of Swiss, two cups of sharp cheddar. And you can either grate it yourself or you can get it at the supermarket if you don't want to grate it. You can see it starting to melt. Yeah. Um, I, had it, I started it off on high just to get the heat going. Mm. Then I put it down to six. Okay. And you keep it on six while you stir the whole yeah. time? Yeah. And a lot of times if it's hot enough, you know, after a while, when it's almost done, like two-thirds melting, you can just shut it off and use the heat. Okay, so I'm going to put, I just do it all in one pot. Okay. Put the macaroni in. Pour it all in. Does that smell good, Roxy? <laughs> You put it on 375, the oven, when you're ready to cook it, mm -hmm. for about 30 minutes. And it gets all bubbly, and the breadcrumbs get all crunchy in the top. You can always serve it up later. If it's a square and somebody has to cut it into a... So how do you know it's done? Uh, it, I had it in 375 for a half hour, mm -hmm. but then I just really quickly put it under the broiler just to get it all brown and it's done. It bubbles, you can see the And so two, one and a half boxes serves about how many people? It's going to make how many squares of holes? About 12 pieces. Okay. 12, 12 people or 14. 12 serves, so 6 people. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are yeah, making me nervous. Math is, math is it doesn't matter. <laughs> math is really hot my forte. <laughs> 